Welcome back, law firm owners, to the Wildly Successful Law Firm Podcast. I'm your host, Nermeen, and in this episode, I'm going to share with you the things that you haven't been doing that you need to do to get the client before the consult. All right, so I want you to think about this from the perspective of every law firm owner, okay? You've gone through and you've done all this work. You've paid the SEO company, you interviewed a bunch of people, you wrote the right Facebook ad, you went to the networking event, and then went to coffee with these people and built a relationship over months, and you've got a referral. You've got a consult scheduled. It is on your books. And they've paid for the consult. Yes! Dance, celebrate, you are doing great. You've got the consult. You're like 90% of the way there, right? Or so you think you should be. Okay, except from the perspective of the potential client, they have 20 minutes for this consult, 30 minutes for this consult. And in that time period, they have to decide, can they trust you with what could be one of the most important decisions that they will be doing in their life. Whether it's having to defend a DUI claim, or it's applying for immigration status, or it's filing for divorce, or it's creating an estate plan that will protect their legacy when they are gone. All of these decisions are very, very tough decisions. And your potential client has almost seconds to decide, are they going to hire you or not? And not only do they have to be confident in trusting you and your skill set, they also now need to part with hundreds and oftentimes thousands of dollars. I'm gonna tell you guys something. Do you know how much it takes to get just one of you lawyers to schedule a consult with me or to uh, buy something that I'm selling, even if it's my $7 ebook or it's my $100 ebook, it takes a lot of fucking work. So I need to make sure that when they get there, they are like ready, they know me, they're like, Nermeen, we like you, we wanna work with you, this is gonna happen. Okay, it takes a lot to get to that point. I do a lot to make that conversion, that decision for them easier. It's also on you to make that decision and that process for them easier. I've talked a lot about, you know, all the things that I do for my clients when we automate their law firm. This is the most important thing. It is the first impression before the first impression. This is your opportunity to tell that client why you're so fucking awesome and why they should hire you over the other 700 personal injury attorneys out there, why you are the person over everyone else. This is especially important for you if you self-identify as being introverted, or if you self-identify as someone who doesn't wanna be salesy. I am 100% introverted, and I don't like being pushy. I don't wanna get on a call with a client and say, it's gonna be $2,500 and I take three installments and that's that. I wanna add more color. I want to be able to add, add answer questions. I want to be able to learn more about this potential client instead of the conversation just becoming about money. So what I do is I set up emails before the consult happens to warm the client up. Remember, the client is on a journey, okay? And you want them to stick with you. You want them to go from becoming a lead who schedules a consult, who then shows up for the consult, who then agrees, who then signs, who then pays, who continues to pay, who leaves a review, right? Like that's the entire life cycle of your client. And this first step before the consult even happens is crucial to someone wanting to decide or someone choosing to work with your firm over the others. What do you do? You send up warm-up emails. 
Okay. Now I can't give you all the goods because you haven't hired me. This is still a free podcast, but I can kind of explain to you how it sort of works. Hey, law firm owners, just a quick note here. If you haven't taken the time to talk with me about automating your law firm, please do. There's a link below for you to check out. We're going to make life so much easier on you by automating things that you shouldn't even doing in your business, like sending out a contract. Why are you still doing that? If you're interested, click on the link below to find out more about automating your law firm. And now back to the episode. We decide together if you're going to send two emails out before the consult or three emails out before the consult. And these emails are very specifically worded and they do a lot of the legwork for you so that when the client gets on the call, they already know that they want to work with you. So that first email could just be a, hey, you're confirmed to meet with us, here's our address, um, or hey, you're confirmed to meet with us, here's the Zoom link for your consult. It's gonna happen at this day and this time. And here are a couple things that you should know about us. So if you're an immigration attorney, then you might wanna say, we file 700 immigration cases a year. Great, so I know that you're an expert in it. You can also take the alternative approach of, we file 50 cases a year because each of our clients gets our personalized attention. We are not a puppy mill of immigration applications, right? If you are a family attorney, you can say how many years you've been in this practice area and that 97% of your clients have gone through a non-conflict or low conflict divorce because you pride yourself on the ability to be a mediator and put on your mediator hat and not just be the lawyer. You're advocating for everyone, okay? Or maybe if you are a deal attorney and you've done, let's say $700 million in series A uh, deals, then that's what you say in that email. I've done over $700 million of, of deals, right? You can also decide, okay, am I just gonna make this super businessy or am I gonna like add a little bit of hint of my personality? Okay, so if you are an immigration attorney and you happen to speak Spanish, you definitely want to make that known. Spanish is the first language in my home and my father is from uh, Guatemala or whatever you're going to say, right? Like you want to include these things so that those things sell you before the client even comes on the call. Just a heads up, I write these emails for my clients because they often will get in their heads about the things that they want to say. And then before you know it, they've gotten jargony. They're throwing around words that the normal population wouldn't understand. And you would have had to go to law school to understand these things. Okay. So, and okay, I have to add this in as well. A lot of attorneys don't realize the facts about them that are the true sellers. They might think that, oh, I've been practicing for 30 years. Obviously that's the thing but actually it's not the thing, it's this other fact that I've been able to pull out of you that helps, you know, sort of sell your practice more effectively than I've been doing this for 30 years. So then you've got that first email that goes out. Then you've got a second email. This is usually where I like to include a video. It's really important to have video. Why? Because they have seen you, they have engaged with you, they have been warmed up by you so that when they get on the Zoom meeting with you, it's not like they're seeing you for the first time. Too often that photo that's of you on your website is from like 20 years ago. You've aged, you don't look the same, you got gray hair, like all of these things. And all of a sudden they're on a Zoom call with you and they're like, that's not who I was expecting. Okay, and it kind of throws them off a little bit. So now there's like that kind of lack of trust. Again, video helps to build trust. We are building trust in a very hyper specific way that doesn't take up your time. So that when they get on a call with you, they're like, done, take my money, right? That's the space that we want to get into. So a little, intro email with some facts about you. You know, you like hiking, you speak Spanish, you've done this many applications, like, you know, all these sort of personal things. And then another video that's all about them. Another email that says, 
hey, I'm so excited to talk with you. Thank you for you know choosing my firm to be the one that you talk to. It really is the little things that you do that gets people there. Because option one is what you're doing right now, which is they schedule a consult, they get a confirmation, and then they show up for the consult. And then they have 20 minutes, 30 minutes to decide if they're gonna part with thousands of dollars and if they're gonna trust you. Versus my option, right? Obviously the superior option, which is client books a consult, they get a confirmation with some personalized facts, they get a video, and then they get another reminder, and they show up on the call and they're like, wow, I already know you. This is so amazing. Yes, I wanna work with you. So when you talk about how you can stand out, how you can get the client before you even do anything, how you make your marketing dollars work for you, this is the shit that nobody talks about that you need to be doing. And again, if you're not the person to do it, I am. And we should definitely talk about doing this for your firm by automating your law firm. This is one of the pieces that can be done automatically and you don't have to do anything extra for it. Okay, so that's everything I wanted to share with you on this episode, how to get the client before they even come in the door. If you have questions, you're welcome to reach out to me. If you got any value from this video, please, please like, subscribe, share with other people. It goes a very, very long way and it really helps me with my mission of helping solo and small law firm owners, especially women law firm owners, to have a wildly successful practice and not feel like they're just in prison when it comes to their practice, okay? Well, thank you so much for listening in and I will see you next week in the next episode. Bye lawyers.